And my pocket ace is holding with a big pot for a shot at $70,500 in the $1,100 main event in Uruguay. Will I make day two to be able to enjoy this amazing scenery for one more day or is it going to be time for me to pack my bags? Let's hop straight into the poker action to find out. I get dealt pocket jacks and the small blind. Hijack opens to 700. I three bet them to 2600. Hijack finds the call. The flop comes ace, eight, five, or diamonds. I don't have a diamond in my hand, but I still do find the C bet for 1750 and a pretty much snap fold, and we take it down. I get dealt king eight suited under the gun. Open up to 1,000. Everybody folds besides big blind making the call here. The flop comes nine, seven, six, two clubs. Day check. I decide to check back this time. They check turn and I do turn the straight with the five clubs. I decide to bet 1,600 and they find the fold. Take it out. For this hand, I get dealt king, queen suited on the button. Low jack opens to 1,000. I jack calls. I call as well. And we go three ways to the flop. The flop comes ace, two, eight with two clubs. So we're drawing to the nut flush draw. Low jack and high jack both find the check. I bet 1,200. Low jack folds. And high jack actually puts in a check raise to 3,600. I decide to just make the smooth call here, not to inflate the pot. Definitely want to try to make my hand. The turn comes a complete blank four of hearts unless somebody randomly has five three suited which i doubt hijack decides to put out a bet of three thousand a bet kind of small so once again yeah i'm just going to be finding the call here i do call the river comes oh baby the six of clubs we just rivered the nut flush we definitely want to try to play for stacks here hijack ends up putting in a small bet of five thousand into the pot wait a little bit and i decide to go all in for fourteen thousand hijack actually doesn't make the call right away about 30 seconds or so goes by and they do finally make the call and i turn over and show them the nuts and they actually had the third nuts with jack 10 suited definitely just a cooler right there but we take it down and our stack is now seventy two thousand five hundred going into the first break gotta love those hands right before a break you either win a lot or you lose a lot i get dealt king queen off under the gun i open to 1100 both small blind and big blind calls the flop comes ace 10 three two clubs they both check i bet 1300 small blind folds big blind does put in the call the turn comes the eight of clubs big blind checks and i do have a nut flush draw once again here with the king of clubs in my hand Definitely going to be betting this card this time around. I do bet $5,250 into the pot. Big Blind thinks for a minute, but they do find the fold and we do take it down. I get dealt ace nine suited in the small blind. And we're just going to have a classic blind versus blind battle here. Open it up to 1750 and Big Blind finds the call. The flop comes eight, ace seven three rainbow. I bet 1300 and big blind puts in the call. Turn is the 10 of diamonds, so backdoor diamonds are now coming in. I bet 4,400 into the pot. Big blind once again just makes the smooth call. The river is the four of clubs, so some drawers got there like five, six, um, five, two as well. So kind of worried about this card here. I am just gonna be checking this time around. And after I do check, Big blind bets 5,000. I do put in a call, and unfortunately, they show that they have ace seven of diamonds. So they just flop two pier and was pretty much free rolling me on the turn. And yeah, they take it down. We are now down to about 63,000 in chips. I get dealt pocket jacks under the gun. I open to 1250. Small blind calls. Big blind actually three bet squeezes massive to 7500 which is roughly 15 big blinds. I decide to make the call. Small blind finds the fold. We go to the flop of 10, 9, 4, 2 hearts. I do have the jack of hearts in my hand. It's pretty good, pretty good. They decide to bet 5,000. Just gonna be making a call here. The turn comes a complete brick. Doesn't really help anybody's range, the three of clubs. They check. I check back turn as well. And the river comes the eight of clubs. I'm not really too worried about the eight of clubs either. We do have pocket jacks blocking at least two combinations of 
queen jack suited they do check river and i decide to check back as well and they do just show ace king of diamonds so look like they went really big deal with their just ace king so that's why their massive three bet happened we take it out. I get dealt king 10 off on the button at big blind 300, 600. I open to 1500 on the button. Big blind calls. And we go to a flop of ace, jack, five, two hearts and one spade. Big blind checks. I bet 1250. They find a call. The turn is the eight of spades. They check again. I double barrel for 4200. They do once again put in the call. The river comes the nine of spades. They check, and I really did think long and hard about this. I was actually just going to over bet the river. I did just decide to bet for roughly 66%, 10,000 into the pot. They immediately called, and yeah, just really wish I over bet here, and they end up showing King jack and they do unfortunately take down the pot and yeah i just really wish i overbet here i want to lose some chips here unfortunately i don't have footage of this hand but it's very important so i had to include it up against the same person i just lost to and right after that hand of me not overbetting and regretting it we immediately get dealt pocket tens under the gun i open to 1800 hijack and big blind both find the call and we go to a flop of ace king three two clubs i bet 3250 hijack calls and big blind folds the turn brings in the jack of clubs we are drawn to a royal flush draw here that would be really sexy to hit i check and they check as well river brings in the five of diamonds and once again that regret of me not over bluffing i am going to be over bluffing here this time i overbet river to seventeen thousand into the pot of thirteen thousand hijack does find the fold and we take it down revenge 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 and we wake up with the second best hand in poker pocket kings in hijack i open to 2200 everybody folds and big blind puts in a three bet to eight thousand and we're gonna have a hundred member moment i'm all in for 32,500. big blind thanks for a little bit but does put in the call and we have the run out pocket kings against nines kings against nines king in the window and no sweat nines against king and after that win my stack is now 105 thousand one hundred and five big blinds let's get it and we got a lady in a big blind getting dealt queen four suited cut off opens to 2200 everybody folds and i decide to put in a call we're heads up going to the flop of 10 or or two clubs we already have trips gonna find the check here they bet 2000 I decided to just make the smooth call this time around. The turn comes the seven of spades. So we have two flush draws on the board. We do have diamonds in our hand. So we're a little bit worried about them. I do check. They put in a bet of 6,000. And we're going to be putting in a check raise here all the way up to 17,500. They think for a little bit, but they do find the fold. And we take it down. Running hot, running hot. And towards the day one, I am still finding the heat. I get dealt pocket aces under the gun, two red aces. I open to 2,500. Button puts in a three bet to 6,200, only leaving about 23,500 behind, so roughly 20 big blinds. I decided to just make this move call this time. The flop comes nine, five, four, two spades. Do have red aces, don't have a spade in my hand. I check. They bet 5,100, and we're going to have a 100 mammoth moment. I am definitely going to be all in here. They don't have much chips behind. We're just trying to stack them right away. We don't want any scary turns to come in when they start checking back. They pretty much snap call, and we have the run out with our aces. Aces against kings. 9, 4, 5, no spade on turn. That's pretty bad, don't do it. And we end up winning, and we are now at 145,000 chips. Once again, we got the official bag and tag, ladies and gentlemen, official bag and tag. All right, everybody, we're out at a restaurant right now called La Cava. By the resort, we have white rice, arroz blanco, courtesy of RDP. RDP's here too. He told me to order mashed potatoes. 
This is, it's not mashed potatoes, but it's actually might even be better than if I ordered mashed potatoes. It's like apple pie without the crust, but it's like really good and have just a steak in the middle and a rack of lamb. And Bob has some steak as well. They're pretty good over there. Got a salad over there. And yeah, what, what did you order? I don't know. I really have no idea. He doesn't know what he ordered. And yeah, is it good so far? Good? He's liking it, he's liking it. Amazing, oh amazing, amazing. Dinner going to be better, about First dinner after bag, and once again, we all bagged the day one of the 1100 main event, so we're all coming back to day two. And one of the first hands to start day two, I get dealt Queen Jack suited under the gun. I open to 4,000, low jack three bets to 10,000, and it folds around back to me, and I make the call. The flop comes 10, four, queen, rainbow. I check and low jack checks back. The turn brings in a jack, and I'm a little bit worried about ace king checking back here, but I still do decide to put in a bet of 12,500. It tank for about 45 seconds, and it do fold, and I do take down my first pot of day two. I get dealt jack nine suited a couple of hands later in the big blind. Hijack opens to 5,000. I find the call defending my big blind. The flop comes queen, jack four with two hearts. I check and they check back the turn is the jack of diamonds and i'm just loving this turn i turn trips definitely gonna be bad in here i make it 9500 unfortunately we don't get any value here and hijack folds my stack is now 142,000 and 71 big blinds i get dealt king jack suited after getting moved tables on the button cutoff opens 5500 i call and small blind calls as well big blind decides to put in the three bet squeeze to 19,800 pretty massive here cutoff folds i call and small blind folds so we're going to be heads up to a flop of king 10 6 2 spades they bet 12,500 so roughly 20 percent 25 percent in a pot decide to put in a call the turn comes the five of spades bringing in flushes we don't have any spades in our hand the turn goes check check the river brings in the eight of clubs so thank god it's not a fourth spade they put out a bet of 32,800 and i immediately put in the call my opponent tries to muck his cards and i had to actually call the floor to make force him to show his cards and they end up showing seven five of diamonds yeah we can see why he wanted to just mark his card so i don't see what he's three betting with definitely always make your opponent show their cards if they're bluffing ladies and gentlemen my stack is now 218,000, sitting comfortably on day two at 90.83 big blind i get dealt nine four suited in the big blind small blind limps i decide to put in the check back here the flop comes 10 9 2 all spades we don't have a spade in our hand small blind does check i pretty much min bet to 2500 one big blind and small blind mucks their cards and we take it down and another big handler we get dealt king queen suited and cut off low jack opens to 5000 i put in a call and everybody else folds the flop comes king four deuce two hearts they check and i bet 5000 and they find the call the turn comes to six of hearts so some hearts just came in they check and i check back as well worried about the flush the river comes the six of spades they bet 6500 and i put in much snap call and my opponent just shows ace high and we take the pot down and once again I get dealt ace king under the gun plus one open to six thousand everybody folds and big blind decides to defend and puts in the call the flop comes king nine eight rainbow so we have top here top kicker they check i bet four thousand and they immediately fold and a dealer must be loving me because somehow the very next hour i get dealt ace king suited this time under the gun. I open 6,000. Everybody folds once again and big blind calls. Go to a flop of ace, 10, seven rainbow this time, but 11, 11, 11 it. Top pair, top kicker. They check. I bet 4,000 and unfortunately they fold again, not getting any value with top pair, top kicker, but we once again take the pot down. And a couple of hands once again later, I get dealt ace king suited in a small blind. Cutoff goes all in for 38,000. Folds around to me, and I am gonna have my Archibama moment. I rejam all in. Big blind folds, and we're gonna be heads up to knock this player out. Oh, <laughs> 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 
No, no, no. No, no. 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 <laughs> and after that big suck out with Ace King against Ace King, my stack is now 295,000. 122.9 big blinds with about 80 players left in the field and 43 players cashing. You'll be able to catch part two of our main event in Uruguay in a couple of days. But if you're interested in a live cash game shoot where I played the biggest pot of my entire life, you can check it out right here.